It sounds like a damn Bissell. What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. Okay, so here's the deal. I did a review on the RPM40, and there's a lot of products that came out after this. Oh my, I don't want to say it was the first one that was cubicle like that, but the, the Vinci has really put its foot in the door in being kind of the staple of what this is. Now, I do believe the Vinci came out very, very shortly after this, but I didn't do a review for it for a while. So anyway, then they made the Vinci X. Hold on, I'll get to where I'm going with this. And then the Vinci X was basically the upgraded version of the regular Vinci using an 18650 using the same pods and the same coils that the original one did. And that's where I have to give a huge shout out to Voopy because Voopy has been doing it. Like they've been knocking it out. Every single product that they make, guess what? Uses the same coil. And one of the arguments that I usually pose is why do products continue to come out that use different coils? It's not, in a sense, a cash grab. And I, I hate using that reference because essentially anything a company makes is a cash grab. Their goal is to make money off of what they're doing. That's what a business is. But smoke, a lot of people give them shit because, well, the TFE4, the TFE8, the TFE12, and then the 16, then the 20, then the Cloud King and the Baby Beast, and then all their other products, their pod devices. And Smoke is essentially probably the biggest company out of China. They've now taken over, I think, Watofo, or, yeah, Watofo, and it just, or they acquired a company that Watofo, I, I don't know. I'm sure someone is going to comment down below. But before I even open this up, something that is worth mentioning is now that they made the RPM-80, right? Right, then they, okay, yeah, they have the Pro, which uses an 18650, the non-Pro, which is the same thing as what I'm showing you, just with an internal battery, and I believe it's six millimeters shorter in height, but get ready for this. It uses a new set of coils, but this can use the RPM-40 coils However, it cannot use the pods from the original RPM40, and it also cannot use the pod that uses the Nord coil, unless there's some type of adapter for this. And that was something that I got on a smoke about. Also, they made an adapter for an RBA head. I'm not 100% sure. Well, it would work. The RBA head that would be for the RPM40 would work for this, because they make an adapter to use RPM40 coils over this. I don't really need to go over that because I've already done a review, which is located right there. Absolutely terrible design. Here's the odd thing though, is when you get the RBA head, they give you a 510 adapter. But what happens if you don't have a mod to put the 510 on? Let's just say hypothetically that you're gonna get this product, you wanna use an RBA head, but you have nothing to screw it on the fire. Why not make a dummy template where you could put it on the actual pod, like a dummy pod, put it on, fire it, wick it up, and then put it into a regular pod. If you go to buy this, there's other options. Like the one that I got is a stabilized wood, and I'm really interested if that's not a sticker and it's actually stabbed wood. Super badass. I don't know a lot of pods that did that, so without further ado, let me bring this down, show you everything inside of it, compare it to the RPM40, which is basically its little brother, so without further ado. Flip it. All right, so what we're looking at is the Smoke RPM80 Pro Kit. Now, again, the only differences between this and the regular RPM is the fact that there is no external 18650. Some of the things that they're featuring, go ahead and zoom in on that for you. RPM80, RPM Pod, and RGC Pod included. Really good coils. I hope that's not what that stands for. And then there's your mesh, the conical shape. We've seen that before. 
Now, the RPM 40 coils will work, but on the original one, it took Nord coils, but you cannot do that anymore. Also, you can't do the original pods because of the way that this is shaped, and this is supposed to be stab wood. Very, very interested in that. Fast charger, 80 watts, IQ chip, 18650. On the sides of the box, some of the information about the company, there's your scratch and sniff. This is going to be Voopy Caramel Chocolate Waffle flavor and scented of course i don't have any access to it right now but i just know how smoke gets down on the back side of the box everything that's included not for sale to miners i really don't know what that stands for rgc really great cock all right I don't know what's my... As soon as you open up, you're going to get a silica gel packet. Make sure you do not eat this if you want to survive. Then you get a user manual for said such device. I'm sure it operates the same way that the original one does. A battery safety checklist. Very, very good. And it's always a good idea if uh, your battery looks like any of these, just rewrap it. If you don't have the means to rewrap, maybe some electrical tape for the time being until you get yourself a new battery. Better say play safe than sorry. Look at that. A scratch to win. 5,000 US dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna let Bree scratch that, but I can assure you that this is not a winner. And then, of course, your QC pass, which means absolutely nothing ever with anything. That is much larger than what I thought that was gonna be, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm having a hard time believing that that is real stabilized wood. It has the appearance that it is stabilized wood, and there is a clear protection sticker over the top of it. Very, very lightweight. It is a little bit larger than the original one, and it's shaped totally different. This is more cubicle and elongated versus this is more like a mod per se, like a single battery mod, but again, it is taller than what a mod would be because there's a pot on the top of it. You can tell that the differences between the two are very, very different, but we'll go over that shortly. And of course you get an extra pod, which has your airflow control on the bottom. I do believe that when you use the original coils, the RPM 40s, you do not have any kind of airflow adjustment. You have just what you do. This kind of implements a new type of configuration right here on the bottom by turning it. We'll take a look at that shortly. And then your USB on the inside to update the firmware. Do not use that to charge unless it's on the fly. It is a single 18650, so you should be able to just take out your battery, be good to go, charge, put it in, all done. So I'm not really gonna compare too much of the size uh, side by side comparison of this versus the original one because they are very, very different devices. Name the same, but totally different. And this is the one that's going to be good with your RPM 40 coils versus this has a different type of configuration. There's no plates on the side. You can see that your airflow is very, very minuscule. This is going to be more restrictive, but yeah, they're proprietary coils. We're obviously going to be using this one. We we'll take the coil out. I'm just going to kind of. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get that out. There you go. So you see how that works? Two very, very different coils. This is much larger. Kind of reminds me of an Aspire coil of some sort, or maybe a U-Well. They do have those flat cutouts on the side, but they're very, very, very different. Drip tip on the top is non-replaceable, stuck in as you fill this. First time I've seen a pod where... It's actually been filled from the top. I've seen it on the side. I don't know if I've ever seen it from the top. Pop this up right here, and then there you go. Very, very simple. Let's just put some juice in it, let that sit for a couple minutes. Now, what I'm gonna do with this, because I have a feeling that this is going to hit like a sub ohm tank, we're gonna be using a three milligram that we would normally use. Actually, we're gonna switch it up and put something else in there. Aside from the way that they look, obviously you can see your juice with this because this is going to be exposed versus on the original one, you can't really tell because it goes all the way inside of the mod. So you wouldn't know you're out of juice until, well, it's just not hitting right anymore and you can't really adjust anything. Your airflow is what your airflow is. But because I, I, I don't think that this is the first one like this, there had to be something else aside from this that came out that was this type of configuration. I doubt that smoke was the first. But if they were, obviously people are going to take this, especially in China, and try to improve on something and capitalize on it. Well, smoke, now you know how every other company feels. So there it is. Uh, that's the device. Looks a little bit cheap on the inside. Seems to be pitted, especially if we're going to be using stabilized wood. And the odd thing is, is if this is real stabilized wood, for it to be only a $5 difference in price, 
seems a bit um low. I don't like that engraving or whatever that is, that laser etching. How much are we putting down right now that that's not stabilized wood? Because I'd bet my damn life. Because this is not stabilized wood. This is a print. Do you want me to show you? You got it. See? No crack. A hole. Stabilized wood would crack. Plastic. Bending. Bending. It's a stabilized wood look. That's what that is. Yeah. I say there was no damn way. It does look like stabilized wood, but let me show you what stabilized wood really looks like. This is as modus, but you can kind of tell there's a big difference. Yeah, I mean, the, the, I have a color like this. Hold on a second. Like a real stabilized wood like this. Let me give you a better example. See this? You can see the, the crack in it, and it's it's yeah, right there. Also, right here, you can really tell the difference. I mean, I get what they're doing there. You know, they're trying to give it a little bit of oom um, papa, like this is what we got. Yeah, I guess. Um, it's, it's not real, though. Just if that was real when I hit that with a hammer, that would essentially, like if I did that with this, it would just shatter because that's resin on the inside there. And obviously wood is not this color. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know any wood that color. You may know something that, you know, um, excuse the sticker. It's cute. It's a cute attempt. I'll give him that. I, I don't I don't want to be too nasty about it because it's whatever. It's five bucks more. Okay, on your bottom, it's going to be your, ooh, that, ooh. Oh, 18650 fits nice. There it is. Smoke. Fire button is a little stiff. Basically an upgraded version of the RPM 40. Let's put the pot in. See if it still allows me to... That snaps nice. That's good. All right. It picks up at a 0.17. Very, very good. See if it lets me go all the way up to 80 watts. It does. And it does let me fire at it. Very, very nice. So, one, it doesn't show as a puff, though. Before we bring it back on top, this is the RPM 80. And then this is the Vupu Vinci X. You see that? They're almost identical in size. Again, this is compatible with the original Vinci, and the coils work with both. Same thing with the RBA head that I don't think I ever did a review on because it's basically a coil, but that works with all Vupu products. I feel like Vupu should be devouring the market right now and not smoke. That's really all we need to focus on because this is an 18650 as well as this. And this is the one that Bree uses every time you take the battery out, it resets the hit count, but it's kind of the same type of deal. It's, it's an all-in-one. It's your newer age Ego AIO with a digital screen. I don't think that these... Have the, have the option of being able to inhale to hit like they do on the Vinci series. That would be on the original Vinci, the Air, and the Navi, not on this. Unless that was a feature that was added later on, but, I mean, this doesn't even have the RBA option. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it doesn't. This is this is very old what is on here. Without further ado, that is it. Let's bring this bad mamma jamma back on top. Yo, back on the top of the RPM80 Pro with the Stabwood sticker. Okay, now the only differences between this and the regular RPM80 is one uses a battery, which is this one, the Pro version, and the non-Pro uses a, a built-in jammy like the RPM40. Let me show you some vapor production. Here we go. What is that noise? It sounds like a damn Bissell. What it? And that, that coil is flooded. All right, so don't use that all the way open. Otherwise, it's going to sound like you're cleaning up your living room. Like, that sounds like something else from another world. I, what? 
Who tested that? And it's not even like I could put a different coil in it to get a different sound. That is it by default all the way open. What is that? <sighs> okay. This is hard for me to do this review knowing how other pods work. You're making a new device keeping the same name of RPM. And then this is the 80 versus the other one that was a 40, that was 40 watts, that used the Nord coils and the RPM 40 coils. This used the RPM 80 and the RPM 40 coils, but it doesn't use the Nord coils. Why wouldn't you make an adapter like you did on the, uh, the, the original one so you could use Nord coils? Doesn't make much of sense. I guess there's just not enough money in doing that. But you would think that the way... I, I, I would really like to see the sales of Vupu versus what they are at Smoke. If there's people out there and you really, really like Smoke... There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that something tells me in my mind to go with the company that is making products that all use the same coil because then that coil will always be available versus this. Look, I'm sure you could find them right now, but looking up a TFV4, no idea why you still use that tank, but finding those coils are going to be much more difficult than it would be to find and Atlantis, which came out the same exact time. Do you know why that is? Because, well, Aspire knew when something was good and worked with that, not Smoke. Smoke is always trying to make money. And I guess that's why it's one of the biggest companies. This should say stabilized wood look, not stabilized wood panels, because that's not stabilized wood. And I don't really want to fault them for that. It's just they're not labeling it collect collectively. Well, collectively, they're definitely not doing it. Correctly is what it should have... Okay, I'm not even going to jump cut that. I'm going to leave it out. Leave... I'm going to leave it in, not leave it out. Vacuum. Okay, here we go. They should have correctly labeled this as stabilized wood lookalike stickers. I know it doesn't have the quite same ringtone of it saying just stabilized wood. It's not that. It does resemble it, and it does look nice. I feel like people will click on this uh, on this video because the way that I'm going to click bait you, the same way they got me, they got me on the catfish. I didn't know what I was getting until open up. I said, ah, do I really want to crack that wood? If it was real wood, probably not. The drip tip on it, I like because a lot of the pods are using that duck bill, my space face kind of jam. I, I, I prefer a regular cylindrical 510 style, but you can't change that. The only coils that you can use with this are RPM 80 coils. That to me is a huge turnoff. Now, if every other company was doing the same thing that Smoke was doing, I wouldn't know anything else different. I would just be like, okay, it's another their, you know, device with uh, another set of coils. I always bitch about that too, is why are companies making new products ignoring their own coils? And it makes it very difficult, for those of you that didn't watch my, mine and Bree's review, it makes it very difficult as a business to have all these different coils. And then guess what? Another pod mod or another AIO comes out. And then what? Now you have to carry those coils. And then you have to do it again. And now you're stuck with the old coils because people have moved on to a different type of AIO. That, that is a terrible business model for someone selling your products. It's fantastic for you as a company. It's just how many reviewers are going to promote this product. I don't know. It has been out for a little bit. So, you know, it is what it is. But if you had to compare this to the original RPM 40, this is that much better. Even if you were to use the RPM 80. However, you're going to be more likely to find RPM 40 and Nord coils inside of stores and online than you are going to be RPM 80 because this is newer and they use a proprietary coil. It just, I, I just, I don't like when companies do that. If I had to rate this mod on a 0 to 10, Considering the price point that I paid for this, I'm going to put this somewhere in the three to the four block. I, I, I'm not going to take points off for this, even though they did get me on the trip up. Like, I didn't know what I was getting until I opened the box. So, so it's kind of like a gift, uh, and the coil is flooded. And you only give me the one coil of this style and then an RPM coil. What happens if it's flooded like it is now? Instead of including... Another coil for the RPM 40, why not just leave that empty and give me another coil for this? Because you're giving me a coil for an old tank. Oh my God, yo. Maybe I need to put more power to it. I, I don't know. 
noisy as shit. Yeah, three door four. That's it. I, I would definitely not recommend this one out of all the AIOs out there. Let me give you a little bit of an update. I'm a little kind of pissed off here. Here's the situation. So I have this and I've been using it for, I don't know, 20 minutes afterwards. And usually I don't do videos like this unless there's something really fucking extreme. And that's where we're at. First off, uh, you know, so the coil that came with this, guess what? It's leaking like a motherfucker, right? Like it's leaking all over the place, right? You see it here, you see it there, you see it here. So no matter what I do, uh, the, the juice is just kind of all over the place, which is, which is so fun. And uh, the coil at, uh, 37 watts feels like I'm boiling up water. Okay, I, I fucking burned my lip. Not, not, okay, well, not on the mod, but because the juice was boiling. I might as well just pour the e-liquid into my mouth. I see what people are talking about now with the smoke coils. Look at the juice, look at the juice on the top. Wait, 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 wait. The reflection. You see it? All over the drip tip, you see it? Yeah. I get, I get your argument. Jay, that's your spit. That's right, because as I'm sucking in, I'm spitting at the same time. Makes sense, right? Try to do that. <laughs> try to do it. Just try to do it right now while you're looking at me on the screen. Try to suck in and spit out at the same time. Let me know how that goes. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. I got what you're going to do. Ready? Wait. I don't, I don't think you can do it. I'm going to try, though. I might get messy. Hold on. I feel like it's going to be like a whole lot of boot cocky. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You can't do it. You can't do it. That's all right. Let me vape some more. God, dude. But guess what? You buy this, you know what's really cool? Is you buy this and um, the coil's leaking like it is, you're fucked. That's it. Oh, oh, that's right. You get to use the other pod with the other coil. That's just, it's like a pity fuck. <laughs> Wait, no, this didn't work out for you here. Come get some of this pussy. That's basically what they're doing. See, I already, I already know the guys in the comments. Well, I, I don't know if I'm going to see it a lot here because there's a lot of people that don't like smoke. You know what it is, is people that doesn't fit their narrative is when they come in and they argue. But when, like if someone, let me break that down to you, Barney level, like you're one or two people that don't like a product and I like a product, they will argue with product be mean. And if I don't like something that somebody else doesn't like, guess what? They agree with me. Huh. And there's a lot of people that don't like smoke, so they're going to love this and be like, oh my god, I so fucking agree with you. I've had the same problem. But when I did that on that OFRF next mesh, because everybody else liked it, guess what? I was jacked up. So, I can confirm, I hear a lot about these only ones leaking. That's exactly, dude, if there wasn't a fucking battery in this right now, I can't even vape it. It's so saturated. There it goes. You can't make this shit up. You can't make it up. Yes, I can, because it's not going to leak. That's all right. Just know in your head that I had good intentions. So done. This is an 80-20, so if you use the 70-30 in this, or a 60-40, because it hits like a sub bone tank, it has a lot of air. It's not giving enough of vacuum or negative pressure. Therefore, it's going to leak juice, just like that college chick right there.